Hey guys! Happy Thursday. I kept thinking it was Wednesday all day. And it isn't. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's what happens when you have a holiday that falls on a Monday. Um, it's, it's, you know, kind of crazy, you know? Um, just hold on. I'm sorry. Trying to pull up my live. That's not finding me. Oh, boy. Hopefully. Oh, good. Okay, so you guys are seeing me. I see it. Okay, so let's see. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, Raphael. Hey, Jennifer. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're going to get right to it tonight. Um, I am going to be creating the You're the Sweetest project tonight. And I'm actually going to come in. Oops, oops, oops. And let's see. I'm putting my website in. And it is now the pinned comment. So now we're ready to go. Okay, guys. So I am going to be creating on... I actually found, uh, when I was cleaning up, I actually found a distressed piece of wood that I had already done. Um, I painted it. I sanded it. I, um, what's that word? Waxed it, stained it. I did it all. It's all ready to go. And I was like, ooh, at first I was going to play with the sugar cookie, but it wasn't big enough for me to do that. Um, then I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll do the We're Living Our Adventure. And I was like, hey, eh, it's too big for that. Um, so then I was like, okay, well, how about you're the sweetest? And it fits perfectly. It is the perfect size for it. So that's what I decided I'm going to do. So I have yet to use this transfer, so I'm super stoked to do it. Um, this is currently available in my online store, which is, like I said, the pinned post below. So I'm just going to take it out of the package. And, oh, I love the smell of a new transfer. Okay. So I am going to, hi, Tom. So what I want to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this all cut. Now, this transfer, as you can see, there's lines here, lines here, lines here. I'm going to cut along the lines. Now, I'm going to be using the You're the Sweetest, the cake, and the cake stand. Um, I'm not going to do the dome, I don't think. A, because it's not going to fit with the cake on there. It's meant for the cupcake when you put the cupcake on the dome. I mean, on the stand, rather. So I'm not going to attempt that, and I'm not going to put it on. So I'm just going to go ahead... And I'm going to get just these cut out. Okay. Let's see. Just going to cut right along the dotted lines. Now, these pieces I'm not using, so I'm going to stick them right back into my bag so I don't lose them. I'm pretty famous for doing that. Hey, Cassandra. Okay in here. Hi, Dan. How are you? Okay, so got that part done. I did kissing. Sorry about that. I hope you guys are still there. Oh, I had a phone call. I had to decline it. Um, sorry. So, 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 so sorry. I did have a great holiday, Cassandra. Thank you so much for asking. I actually felt like I forgot how to chop when I came back from my holiday because I took five days off without chalking. It was crazy. Hi, Shannon. So, yeah, it was very, uh, very odd for me to not be chalking. And, yeah, it was just, it was just nuts. So, when I came back, I was like, oh, my goodness, I don't remember what to do. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's go ahead now. If you've never watched before, this is uh, a reusable silk screen transfer. As you can see, there's little silk screen areas in there. Um, I'm going to write on the back of this because once we are done using it, we're going to go ahead and replace this back onto the carrier sheet. So that way, um, hi Trash. So that way, when 
we go we can reuse it again and again so there's a glossy side hi Meg there's a glossy side and there is a paper side the paper side is the side I wrote you're the sweetest on the glossy side is the side that we're gonna go ahead and replace the transfer on because the gloss will make it be able to pull on and off kind of like a, a sticker of sorts if you will so I'm just gonna keep writing on the back of these so I know what they are Hi, Sylvia. Okay, and as you guys are coming in, if you would, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you guys would share. Ah, oh, I know, Sylvia, I'm so excited to use this. I haven't used it yet. I did, Meg, thank you so much. I hope you had the most wonderful Christmas. I took five days off of chalking to be with my family, um, and every single day I spent with family, and it was the most wonderful time ever. Uh, I really missed being around them and they understand that you know my business means the world to me so they totally get it but it was so nice to spend time with them um, and do our family traditions so hi Patty hi Sharon hey Doreen so I am ready to go ahead and get going with this I've done you're the sweetest on the back I'm gonna pull this off and because it's a larger one, like I've told you guys plenty of times, the way I remove my transfer from this is I actually remove the carrier sheet from the transfer. So that way it doesn't roll onto itself, it doesn't stretch. Um, thank you, Meg. I hope you had a great Christmas too. Hey, Margie. So thanks for doing this. Been wanting to buy this one. Oh, no problem, Sharon. Yeah, I'm going to test it out tonight. I've been wanting to, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do it on. And then, like I said, I found this distressed wood that I never used. I distressed it all up, but never used it for anything. So I thought, well, hey now, this is perfect for it. That was a chunk of something. So I'm going to go ahead and get this laid out. Make sure there's no bumps in my silk screen area. Hey, girl. All right, so let's go ahead and get the cake stand on next. Okay, and I'll put it right about here, hoping that looks centered, and I think it does. Okay, there it goes. It's on. Doesn't appear to be any bumps in my silk screen area. And I'll move this up a little bit because it was getting cut off. Okay, so um, I will be adding this after I do this. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and get the pedestal done here. So I'm gonna use some Elephant Gray. Now these, this is our chalk paste. Hi Janice, this is our chalk paste. You will not find this anywhere. It is one of a kind. The only way you're gonna get your hands on chalk paste is through a chalk couture designer, okay? Um, that's beautiful. Now what I'm doing is, is I'm mixing my chalk paste up. Now, <laughs> remember how last night I was complaining about the heat? Um, hey girl. Uh, well, oh Doreen, I'm so glad you were able to join live. Thank you for your purchases. Um, so remember how I've been saying the last few nights that I have to work quick because of our heat and it's very humid? Well, guess what? We ran out of oil last night in the middle of the night. So my house is like, the oil guy just came about an hour and a half ago, finally. We were waiting all day long. Uh, so my house went down to 48 degrees. So my chalk paste is a little thick. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water to it to loosen it up a little bit, okay? Um, I find that when my chalk paste is very, very yogurt-like consistency or my white, I call it a marshmallow fluff consistency, it just goes on so much better. So... I'm making sure that that is done, um, and the reason why, like I said, I just did that was because I kind of felt like it was a little hard, and I didn't want to have that, obviously. So, let's go ahead and let's get our chalk paste onto our silk screen area. You don't have to put it all over the transfer, just the silk screen area. Um, doesn't matter if you have bumps in any other area, as long as you don't have bumps in the silk screen area, you're golden. So as you can see, I'm just sticking with, just pulling the chalk paste down. 
And a little chalk paste, guys, seriously goes a long way. As you can see, I didn't even have to go back in to get any additional. As a matter of fact, what I'm doing is pulling some excess off. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe it right back into my chalk paste container, and I'm gonna pull my transfer up, and it looks awesome. I love it. Now what I'm gonna do is put it into some water that I have off to the side, and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna close my chalk paste up. I don't need to use this color anymore. And I'll put this little stirry stick so that way it can get cleaned. I put it also on my water, reuse. I'm all about things that I can reuse over and over again. Hence why I love my chalk paste and my chalk transfers. Oh, did I really do that? That's all right, it comes off. Mm. Come on, paper towel. I just got a little bit right there. Just wipe right off. See, came right off. Easy peasy. Now, I'm gonna take my heat tool and I'm gonna dry this up, this pedestal part, because I'm going to be layering the cake part on, okay? Hi, Eileen, hi, John, hi, Claudia, hi, Chris, hey, Judy. How many colors are there total as I see a reoccurring theme with you? LOL, you have several favorites. I absolutely do, Meg. Um, uh, there are, I believe, 41 colors, I think, is what I remember counting last. I could be wrong. It could be 36, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's 41. I, myself, love, when it comes to Valentine uh, colors, my favorites are definitely um, either Aquamarine or the Thai Teal. Um, this one is, an or Caribbean, rather, uh, not Titeal, Caribbean, Lilac and Magenta. Those three colors scream love and Valentine's Day to me. Um, Christmas, I, a Caribbean is a, an all-the-time favorite. I just love that color. Lilac also makes me think of Halloween. It makes me think of spring and Easter. So I definitely do have some favorites. You're absolutely right. Um, but specifically, I, when I create things, I'm typically creating for decoration for my home or for family. But if it's for my home, I like things to go together. So I try to stick with the same color family. Um, so that's why I, I design with a lot of the same colors. Hi, Linda. So, yes, that's my story. Now, this I love because you see the scallops in the cake stand. In my silk screen area, there are also scallops that match up to it, so you know if you match your scallops up right, you're gonna be going right in line with creating this um, directly where it needs to be. So what I'm doing is I'm lining the bottom up first, then I'll worry about pushing the top up, okay? I know, it's so funny, right, Meg? I do use the same ones like over and over. Hi, Lu Hi Luz, hi Aunt Renee. Caribbean is one of my favorites as well. That and great. I love, 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 love Caribbean. Caribbean is totally one of my faves. Okay, so now I'm going to mix lilac and magenta. <sighs> do I think it's going to come out? Well, you know what? Yeah. Do I think it's going to come out like totally perfect? I don't know, but I want to play around with it. Um, because then up here I'll do um, my Caribbean. And maybe another, yeah, I think I'll just do You Are the Sweetest all in Caribbean and then work with my lilac and magenta on top of the stand. I just kind of like playing with colors. So, hi, Michelle. Hi, Aunt Renee. So, guys, yeah, as you're coming in and joining, I would love it if you would hit the share button on the bottom left-hand side of your mobile device. Um, that truly helps me out, gets me shared. The more I'm shared, the more people are going to see Chalk Tour in action, which I love. Now my poor magenta has definitely seen better days. I'm almost at the bottom. I'm gonna have to order some new magenta. Womp, womp, womp. Gotta get more. Hi Denise, hi Lisa. Thanks for joining guys. Okay, come on. Okay, Oh, my lilac looks so pretty. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Let's give it a little spray. Just a little bit of water. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna do magenta across the top, lilac on the bottom, and then blend the two together, okay? That's my goal. 
So I'm gonna try and work as quick as possible. Actually, because my magenta is one of the thicker, not reformulated colors, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna do that part last. Hi Mona, thanks for joining. Oh girlfriend, this is so much fun, this stuff. I love playing with my chalk tour. So glad you joined. So glad you're joining me tonight. Okay. So it doesn't have to be super nice. I'm actually gonna make it be a little bit thicker because like I said, I'm gonna join it together with my magenta. So I'm not gonna like completely make it be, um, like I'm not gonna scrape all my excess off right off the bat. I definitely could have added some more water to this, but that's okay. It's all right, it's all right. Mm. Hold on. Get a little bit closer and a little bit more wet. There we go. That's what I wanted. Let's go ahead and peel this guy up. <gasps> oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, that looks gorgeous. It's rubbing that in a little more though. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that looks. Oh, I love it. That's the look I was going for. Hooray, I love when things work out in my brain. Sometimes they don't always do that. Hey Alicia, hi Carol, hi Heather. Thanks so much for joining guys. I would love it if as you are joining, if you will hit the share button, bottom left hand side of your mobile device. It would truly help me out. Anybody who is brand new and is interested, if you are a, not a chalk couture designer and you're interested in going into my VIP group, um, just hit me right at the bottom of the page and I'm happy to add you so you can see my specials and whatnot. Hi Joanne, thanks for joining. Hi Becky, thank you for joining. So yeah, if you guys don't know what Chalk Couture is, this stuff is amazing. I'm creating a project with it tonight. I'm doing You're the Sweetest on a little cake pedestal with the cake and I wanted to make my cake colorful. Um, kind of do an ombre with it, if you will. So I got that part done. Now, just putting this out there and I'm, oh, Margie, I absolutely will, girlfriend. Absolutely, you'll be in my prayers. It takes a strong person to do that. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to get the lid back onto my magenta there. Okay, done. All right, so now it's time to use the Caribbean with You're the Sweetest. So I'm really excited to use this. I love this color. If you guys have been watching me, you know I definitely use the heck out of this color. Oh, I love it. And these colors just scream like love. So this doesn't necessarily have to be like a Valentine project. This could just be a just because. This could be a gift you give to somebody. This could be something you can hang in a little girl's room. Um, could be a wedding gift. Could be um, could be a uh, what do you call that? A bridal shower gift uh, or decoration. Um, could be a lot of things. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just smearing some color on with my little, uh, little, um, what is that called? Story stick there. And I'm going to use my angled squeegee and I'm going to pull the color down with this just because I have found that my angled squeegee really is the bomb. Did I really say that? That's why my son says I'm not cool. <laughs> um, this thing, this angled squeegee is literally the best when it comes to spreading color in a larger area. Okay, you're gonna be able to spread your color a lot faster. Um, so that way it doesn't dry on you. Because obviously 
being quick is the name of the game here, right? And then it also helps when it's time to scrape your excess chalk paste that you have on here off. You can scrape it one, two, three. And see like all this big area, you see I didn't even have to come back in for any other chalk paste because I was able to get a nice clear, can this container move out of my way? That will be great, thanks. <laughs> I was able to get all the color across. And I even actually have some more that I will wipe into my jar. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel this off. And there will be my design. Look how cute that turned out. Oh, I love it. So awesome. This was a fun transfer. I can definitely see this. I can definitely see creating quite a few different projects with this. Um, I know my sister-in-law created, um, Hi, RJ. How are you tonight? Um, I, my sister-in-law created this and she did your suite, I think. Like she kind of hid it and moved it a little bit. I was like, oh my goodness, that's adorable. Um, and then I've seen people do it on shadow box frames. Um, and I just thought this was going to be super fun to just do. Like I said, I found this board. It was already distressed. It was ready to go. And I wanted to play with it. And I thought this was the perfect thing to do with it. And I did, in case I decide to add the dome here. Um, oh, thank you, RJ. Glad to hear. Um, in case I decided to do the little dome part, um, I did leave a little room. Like maybe I want to take off the cake and put in a cupcake, which I totally could. I can keep recreating on this. Like all I need to do is spray some water over this and I can take this right off. So if I decided to, at least I know that I left room for that. Um, do you have any little herd or something to take some of the, see the white space? Um, Meg, I don't, I don't understand what you're asking me, but definitely I will, um, if, if you can ask it maybe a different way, I definitely will take care of that. Wait, do you have a little heart or something to take up some of the white space? Oh, absolutely. It's actually funny you say that because I did get a cute little wooden heart. Absolutely. Um, hi, Janet. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for joining tonight, guys. Um, Marge, what better way to occupy your hands with chocolate? Yes, agreed. Um, Margie, I agree with uh, Linda. Definitely, chalking will get you get your hands freed into something else for sure. Yeah, a little heart would look super cute there. I could actually even use um, maybe a heart from the candy hearts. That would look super cute. Um, or, like I said, if I wanted to add the little dome, it definitely gives me some room with that. Uh, but I definitely could add a heart. That would be super cute. Um, but I love this. I'm going to just dry it real quick to make sure that everything is dry. Because, believe it or not, my magenta looks like it's still wet. And I don't want to rub my hands across it in case it is. There we go. So yeah, this is definitely super stinking cute. I love this. All I'm going to do is add on the back of this, like, because see, look, guys, this was what the wood looked like before I distressed it. I'm just going to add a little um, hook thingy that I got from a Hobby Lobby picture hanging box, and that way I can hang it right on the wall, which will be super cute. And look, it's all dry. I can rub my hands all over everything here. Love that. And then when I'm ready to change this up and make something different, I totally can. Hi, Allie. Um, so yeah, so this is, hi, Debbie. Thanks for joining, ladies. This is super cute. I am so glad that I created this. It came out super adorable. Um, and it was super easy. Guys, you saw it took like 10 minutes to make this project. Hi, Donna. Super quick. You know what? I'm going to, I do want to see that one little heart that I got. I actually do want to see this. I ran and grabbed some wooden, uh, grabbed some wooden hearts to make some projects with, and I think this one will be super cute on here. But I think it's too, oh, uh, it's a little too big. It's a little too big. Let's 
see this one. Way too big. Oh, all the ones I got are too big. That stinks. That's okay. I could just do a chalk cart. No big deal. There's tons of them. Um, tons and tons and tons. Or, like I said, I might even just add the little doom. That would be super cute. Hi, Matt. So. HQ started. Oh, okay. Have fun, dude. All right, guys. So that is my project for tonight. If you are interested in purchasing any of these products, my website is the pin post right down below. Um, if you're interested in going into my VIP group, just say me and I will add hey. you in there. Little man is saying hello. Um, and that's it. Just check back. I believe I'm going to be doing a earlier um, live tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll see, but I think I'm going to redo my front door with some snowflakes. So, oh, Margie says, hi, bub. Very cute. My daughter, granddaughter did this for her birthday board. Oh, adorable. Oh, idea. Mona, absolutely. I'll add you. To add on to this. Oh, yeah. What's your idea? So maybe at the top, put a little heart that goes along with the sweetest. Oh, my gosh. You're so funny. Another Meg said that. Really? See, Meg? Look at that. Hi, Kathy. Great minds think alike. Yeah, I'll definitely add a little heart um, right there. That'll be super cute. Um, do we have one that says you're sweet in this? I love you, be true, you rock, love, kiss me, my love, no way, love me. That's super cute. Um, but look at that, even Bubba said, even Bubba said that. Yeah, Mona, I will absolutely add you to my VIP group. Ah, Meg says he is smart. Yes, he is. Yes, I am. He said, yes, I am. Um, but, okay, you know what? Let's do the heart real quick. Hi, Nancy. Oh, can I do it? You want to do the heart? Absolutely, yeah. you can. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do the heart in... How about... Get oh, out. There it goes. Let's do the heart in... Where's my scissors? We should do it in... This one. Lilac? Oh, good. That's what I was thinking. Hey, what's it called? Lilac. <coughs> Lilac. Magenta. Common. Here you go. I'll Just help mom do something. Or more like the thing I created. <laughs> okay. So since there's so many different hearts for this, I'm actually going to put a small one. Whoops. Right on the Common. front. And then I'm going to say heart one on the back here. So that way I know which one goes where. Here, Bubba's lilac with magenta words. There you go, Margie. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the little heart on. Here you go, Bubs. I know. Here you go. It's already been stirred. I already used it here. Oh, okay. No yogurt. Nope, you don't have to do you don't have to make it look like yogurt. Good boy. Oh, careful. Easy. Remember mommy showed you how to use it like a spoon? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Oh, good job. Isn't it supposed oh, to? Oh, yep. Can I transfer the... All right, here we can go. I, can I help you here? Yeah. There you go, because you're reaching... Oh, no, 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 no. That's okay. That's the that's the one. Remember I said I put a one on there? Oh. There we go. Just because you were like leaning over me, so I knew you weren't able to get all that. Here, where's the... Wait, wait, wait. There's excess on there. You want to get all the excess off, remember? Yeah, Dad. Here you go. Get pull it off. Coming. Okay, Mr. Man is being beckoned. Oh, look at that. Good job. Thank you. Uh, 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 good job. Good job. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, he's getting so excited. He's like almost knocking into my head. Hi, Rochelle. Um. Okay, so let's put. Let's put. What words shall we put? Now, it's funny because right where we put it down, there's a like a divot in the wood, so it looks like um, the color, like uh, like the, temp, the transfer leaked or something, but it really didn't. It's actually the way it goes. Um, so let's see, you're the sweetest. How about you rock on there? How's that sound? Let's put you rock. That would be cute. 
Yeah, that would be cute. And we'll do that in magenta. Hey, Tina. Okay. So, yeah, remember, guys. Hi, Nancy. As you're coming in, if you want to, if you want to be added into my VIP group, and you are not already a close to my or a <laughs> a child couture consultant, um, just say me down below, and I will happily add you. What is on your front door now? There's nothing, Margie. I never got a chance to get my front door chalked. Isn't that that's just a, that's shameful, is what that is. Um, I never got a chance to do it. So I'm going to do snowflakes since it's freezing here in New Jersey. And we're supposed to get snow on Saturday. So snow is right up my alley for my front door. Some cool little snowflakes. Okay. Oh, how cute. You rock. You're the sweetest. You rock. I had snowflakes for Christmas. I was planning to do the ornaments from Chalk the Halls. That was what I wanted to do with the boughs of holly. Um, also from Chalk the Halls, but I just, I never got around to do it. Time evaded me. No snow here. Oh, I live in the desert. I'm getting ready for Valentine's. Yes, I wanted to do, I'm going to do some snowflakes for January. Um, and then February, I'll have little hearts going all down my front door. So, how cute did that turn out? That's really adorable. You rock. So cute. So cute, I love it. So there we go. Look at how easy it was to add to that. And if we decide we don't like it, or like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do the dome, I can easily take that right off with water. No big deal. Super easy. So we are all set, guys. Fireworks. I wanted to do fireworks so badly, um, but I I don't know that I'm gonna have the time. I'm. You know what? We'll we'll play it by ear. Maybe I will get some fireworks up for New Year's, and then I'll jump right into snowflakes. I have to see. Will I be able to do snowflakes on Monday? I may be able to. We will have to take a look at it. Hi, Sabrina. Thanks so much for joining. Um, thanks, Meg. It was your idea. You and Margie both said it, and then of course the Bubba's. So we did the we did the heart. Super cute. I don't know how I'm feeling about the U Rock on there. I'm not gonna lie though. I think I should have maybe just kept the purple heart. I don't know. I don't know. I totally could, Margie. Absolutely. Um, it would be super cute. But um, yeah. So we're all done, guys. So thanks for joining. Um, if you would, one last time, if you would share, bottom right hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I'd love for you to hit that. If you'd like to join my VIP group and you are not already a designer with Chuck Tour, uh, make sure you say me down below and I will happily add you into it. I know Mona, I will already take care of adding you. Um, if any of you are interested in possibly becoming a Chalk Couture designer on my team, let me know. I have an opportunity call occurring this weekend. I am happy to, um, add you to it. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for joining. You have a great night too, Meg. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you're interested in maybe becoming a designer and you just have some questions and you're not sure, let me know. Um, say uh, join down in the comments below and I will make sure I get you added to my opportunity call group. Uh, it's a live uh, Facebook uh, Facebook Live that I do and I go through the whole Chalk Tour experience and uh, share the opportunity with you and then when you uh, when we're all done I'll follow up with you to see what you thought and we can go from there so if it's even just a great way to get the uh, maybe some questions answered that you had before you joined so hi Debbie um, okay I think that's it if you guys don't have any questions um, then I am going to hit the road, Jack, and I will be back tomorrow for another project. So take care. Have a great night. Bye.